Hello friends, welcome to at another tutorial on DB2 LAW and in this particular tutorial I'll be talking about how to do fix pack update, version upgrade and fix pack downgrade. I'll be using version DB2 version 11.1 .1 and 11.5 and what we will be doing is like I have got three instances running at 11.1 .1 fix pack 2 we will be out of these three instances which are running at this we will be upgrading only one instance to 11.1.4 and when we want to upgrade only one instance we will see that we can use db2 iupdt which means now we will have one instance running at 11.144 and we'll have still two more instances running at 11.1.222 so now two instances here one instance which we upgraded I now need to upgrade both of the, these instances to 11.1.444. So what I would be doing is like I will be using the fix pack. So whatever are the remaining instance over here, they will be upgraded to 11.4. So here what I'm trying to do is like if there are multiple instances and you want to upgrade only one instance, how to do that? And you, if you want to upgrade all the instance together, how do you do that? That's the this step. Then what I would be doing is from this 11.1.4, I will be going to 11.5. So I'll be going to 11.5. So I, what I would be doing is version upgrade. And how the version upgrade? I will be using db2i upgrade. Remember here that here I'm using db2i UPDT and here I'm using db2i upgrade. And then finally, I will show you how to downgrade the fixed pack level. So the option is install fixed pack level and we have to use minus F level. So we will be covering all of this in this particular tutorial. This particular tutorial can be big or small based on how fast we go. Okay. And, and I just want, I just have one request. If you like my channel, please subscribe and that will motivate me and I, my, my channel will grow, which, and I can keep recording and sharing my knowledge with you. So as I said, I got, I have, I'm doing this on Linux 8.1, specifically Red Hat server, Red Hat 8.1. I already have three DB2 versions installed, so I'll not be covering how to install the DB2 versions. Uh, I, I believe that everybody knows how to install DB2 versions, so I've not covered how to install DB2 version in this particular tutorial. And so I have already installed these three versions. And as I said, I have three instances, DBP, these are my instance name, one is P, one is S and one is T. These are my three instance names running at 11.1 .1 fix pack 2. That's what it is running. And we would be doing all of this in this particular tutorial. And every instance has got one database. Every instance has got one database. This, the instance DBP has got a database called DBP. Instance DBS has got a database called DBS and instance DBT has got a database called DBT. So let's start with, uh, okay, so here is my DB2 level. Okay, so not DB2 level. So here is my DB2 LS and I can show you to you that I got three instances on this system. Sorry, three uh, binaries. One is at 11.1 fixed pack 2, 11.1.4 fixed pack 4 and 11.5.4. That's the another version. So these all three are currently installed. And if I show you this DBP, if I show you this DB2I list, you can see that there are three instances as I mentioned T, P and S. Okay, so I got and if I go to if if I here there is no instance here there is no instance all these instances are here. Okay, so let me repeat slowly what my plan is. So my plan is this all three instances. So if I show you DB2 level for this instance, then you can see that this instance is at 11.2.2. So they are here. So all of these three instances are here. So my plan is move one of these instance to the here. So upgrade only one instance. Once I upgrade this instance, then I will be left with these two instances. Then together I will be upgrading this instance, which means I will be upgrading entire binary using the fixed pack level. So, and when I do that, you will see that my DBS and DBP, both the instances gets updated. So now I will, I will first I will upgrade one instance here then I will be left with two instances that I would upgrade here okay but I will be actually overwriting this so then once that is done I will be upgrading 
this particular I will be upgrading this particular binary okay the db to t binary I will be upgrading this binary to 11.5.4 so I will show you how the version upgrade happens and then finally what I would do is like I will roll back the fix pack which was applied here so the dbs and dbp will come back to fix pack 2 quite complicated but if you follow with me you will come to know what I'm trying to do okay so if I if I just have to write down that it will be very difficult I don't know how to put it in the document so I'm just going to explain you so let me explain one more time what I'm planning to do there are three instances there are three instances all instances are here my step one would be upgrade this instance alone that is my step one or upgrade only one instance to 11.1.4 okay and I have chosen db 2 t for that so this particular instance which is which is running at 11.2.2 will be upgraded to 11.4.4 once i upgrade db to dbt then you will find that in my 11.1.44 i have one instance dbt and 11.1.22 i have two still instances left dbs and dbp because i only upgraded this then what i will be doing as a next step i will be applying fix pack on this binary this binary i will be applying the fix pack okay which means that this level will change from 11.144 to 11 uh, so 11.122 to 11.4 because i am applying the fix pack on this home and when i apply the fix pack on this home whatever instances are left that instances will get upgraded to this version okay then what i would be doing the previously upgraded instance dbt which is in this home I will be upgrading it to the next level which is 11.5 so I will do the version upgrade and finally what I would do is roll back the fix pack on these two versions so that's that's what I'm planning to do so let's start okay uh, enough of talking and let's start so okay so first okay so let me connect to okay let me connect to Siri uh, no let me connect here from here okay so okay let me minimize this so su minus dbt okay so now db2 level okay so this is at 11.1.2 and db2 i list shows that there are three instances over here so all, all of these three instances will be are running this version okay so now what i would do is i would check that the database so the, this is i've done so let me i have written one small script it is it's li literally just few commands i'll show you the script so what it does is like it starts my data instance then it checks what instance i'm connected to shows you db2 level activates the database connects to the database checks the service level and fix pack number from the database and then disconnects from the database deactivates the database and db2 stop these are some small commands i've just put it into because i will be running this again and again so just to simplify i kept these commands so let me take this let me put take this and paste it okay and then it will do whatever it's supposed to do so it will start the instance then it will get the instance then it will show you what is level then it will activate so activate so it is running at 11.1.2 and we are planning it to 11.1.4 so then it is going right now it is activating the database so let it activate the database and we can see from the database also that it is version 11.2.2 fix pack number two this this information came from the database i have deactivated the database and i have stopped the instance now that part is done so only one command only one command to upgrade your instance okay so that's this dp2 iupdt it is as simple as that so take, let me take this that command let me clear the screen let me take that command and what am i doing here is like i'm going into the binaries of the so if i show you the db2 level this is at okay db2 ls uh, okay so i should be in that instance su minus db2 t okay and db2 level if i show you that it is at 11.2.2 and that is that is this and my plan is to go to this so i am going in that directory and that is very important i'm going into that directory 
I'm going to in instance and then I'm going to, I'm using this DP2 IUPDT and specifying which instance I want to upgrade that is what I'm going to do and I'm taking this command as root I'm doing this as root and make sure that your instance is stopped make sure your instance is stopped and I'm just running this command and this is this one command which is going to update your instance the fix pack level so once this is done then you will see that the only one instance is at 11.4.11.1 fix pack 4 while other two are at the old instance i'm repeating this again and again because it might confuse you so that's why so once here right now i am only upgrading one instance that is dbt so let me write it here so this only this instance i'm upgrading to this version and the command that i'm running is db2 iupdt so this is the command that i'm running this is one simple command and this command i'm running from the new binaries okay this command i'm running from the new binary so that's what i'm doing and again that command got successful very good and so now what i'm going to do is let me go to my old instance sudbp okay and this if you see this particular instance will be still at 11.2 fix pack 2 and if i do db2 i list if i do db2 i list you can see only two instances previously there were three the dbt where is that dbt gone so let's find out so let me exit from here and let me clear my screen and let me go as dbt instance and do db2 level and you can find that now that is at 11.1 fix pack 4 which is good and if i do db2 i list there is only one instance because this one instance moved for out of those three instances we only have upgraded this one instance to here so now the original we have original path original and now under this original installation i got two instances which are which is db2 s and db2 p so these are the two instances which are here while the dbt dbt is has gone here so we have using one single command using one single command we have done the instance upgrade or we have applied the fix pack okay so now it is time to verify our database okay so where was uh, okay okay so it is okay we need to make sure that our database is also uh, working or we are able to connect to the database we have upgraded our instance now it is time to check our database so i'm going to i'm not going to do anything i'm going to just run the same script which and this step this is the main step this particular step even if i directly connect that is fine but this is the step which is going to upgrade the database internally okay and i don't have to do anything so only one command okay only one command and then this particular thing so let me verify okay so now let me run this particular thing okay so it's going to start my instance okay start is successful and i can see that i'm at 11.14 fix pack 4 very good okay that is good news my activate database command successful i got connected and you can see that my database is now showing 11.1 fix pack 4 so using one simple command i was able to update my fix pack so this is done okay so now what i have again i told you that we still have two more instances left under 11.1.2 those two instances are when i say all those two instances are dbp and dbs these instances are still reporting under the old home which is 11.1.2 so let's prove that let me i'm here and clear and if i say db2 i list you can see there are two instances dbp and dbs and if i show you db2 level you can see that it is 11.1 fix pack 2 now what i'm going to do is i don't want to do this db2 iupdt i don't want to do this for every instance i want to upgrade all of these instances together okay so i want to upgrade both of these instances i want to upgrade both of these instances together so if you have 10 instances are you going to run this command again and again no what we can do is we can upgrade now this is very important let me keep a note of this okay this one okay so this right now it is i'm going to keep a note of this okay so that you guys can see it later so i'll take a note okay so you can see i'm going to highlight this okay you can see that this one 11 point this home this binary it is showing that i am at 11.1 fix pack 2 so that's what it is showing now what i'm going to do is i am going to upgrade this particular instance 
okay this particular instance and before doing that let me actually show it to you you know using the same cat check version you that my database is also at a lower version so let me verify that so i'm going to start okay so you can see that even my database is at 11.1 2.2 so let me keep a note of this as well so here i'm going to take a note of this as well okay so now what i'm going to do is i only thing that i'm going to do is run this install fix pack command where will you find this install fix pack command in your db2 software the image that you downloaded the image that you downloaded from your ibm website you will find a command called install fix pack i'm going to run the newer version of install fix pack so i'm right now this one is at 11.1.2 and i need to go to 11.1.4 so what I'm going to do as a root, so let me go as root, okay? Let me go as root and let me go to the newer version which I have already extracted here, db2 v1141, okay? That's uh, dbe, sorry, yeah, okay? And then you can see that I got this command install fix pack. So what I'm going to say, I'm going to run this particular command and then it will ask me which where you are want to apply this so i am going to use i'm going to use this location which is at 11.1.2 so i'm going to use this location that's what i'm saying then it is going to ask me do you want to choose a different location no i want to override the existing location i'm saying no because i don't want to create another location i want to override this i i'm going to upgrade override this particular installation from 11.22 to 11.144 that's what i'm do, going to do so take a look at this take a look at this and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say no. And then when it's, it's when this finishes, so it's going to start now. When it finishes, then you see, I'm going to run the same command. Okay, I'm going to run the same command. And you should see that this particular location is no longer showing 11.1.2 while it, it will show 11.4. This particular location, so what I'm doing is like I have run the install fix pack command. So I am replacing this particular version with this particular version. And when it does that, when it does that, then automatically both of these instances will also be upgraded to this. I don't have to run the db2 iupdt command again. Remember, I don't have to do that. So I can prove it to you. So uh, major error occurred. Okay. So looks like, okay, preparing the individual. Okay. So what happened? One of my instances is still active. And why did not okay so remember that when you are doing the installation fix pack installation or version upgrade your instance needs to be stopped for some reason my instance did not get stopped which is okay so let me force my applications all and let me de let me deactivate the database it should stop it should stop let me so what exactly happened ah oh, it's going to okay so okay so let me deactivate and let me stop my instance. Let's see whether it stops this time. And I'll use ps minus ef grab db2 cc command to find out if my instance, any instance is up and running. If the db2t is up and running, that's fine. That is a different version that is not getting impacted. So that's okay. So for some reason, okay, ps minus ef grab db2 cc and looks like none of the instances up and running. So let me run the same command once again and then i will use this particular location and then i will say no and then let's see whether we get error again i hope we don't get the error again so it's going to update this particular location okay so let's give it a minute and see what exactly happens so once this is done then what we will have is we will be having we will be having the db2 db yes and dbp moved to 11.4 but they are still under this home so this home will show two instances this home will still show because what i've done is like i have not moved these instances from here to here they are still here so this but what will happen is like this one will show that it is at 11.14 fix pack 4 so let's give it a minute and see how long it takes. It should not take a lot of time. Okay, so it's doing the fix pack installation right now. So let's give it a minute and see how much time it takes. I'm not going to pause this video. I want you to watch this. So, and you can, obviously you have the chance to forward, fast forward 
this particular video, I don't have the chance to fast forward as I'm recording it live. I hope you are liking my tutorials and if you have any questions or you want to, you want me to record on some particular talk, topic, let me know. I, I don't promise that I will be able to do it, but I will give a try. This particular tutorial was suggested by, was suggested in one of the comment uh, by one of my YouTube followers. He told me to record the downgrade fix pack. So instead of just downgrading, uh, recording a video on how to downgrade fix pack, I decided to cover almost all the topics or as how to install fix pack, how to upgrade a particular instance, how to do the version upgrade, and then finally how to downgrade the fix pack. So that's what my plan is to cover everything in this particular video. So this, this particular step is the one which is going to take a little bit long time. And remember, I'm not just, this is the important screen. This I'm not closing this because I want you to show, I want you to compare this. Okay. So let's give it a minute. This is step is going to take a little bit long time. The setting db2 library path, because this is the main step where it updates the library. And I, I, I want to take this moment to ask you guys, like, are you guys enjoying my content? Is it boring? I, or my English is not good, or you are not able to understand, or I'm talking very fast, pass in any comments and I will try to improve because these videos I'm recording for you guys. This is for your knowledge. I want to share my knowledge so that you can, you guys can be, you can, guys can see these videos and use this kind, this knowledge in your environment so any feedback from you guys will be really helpful so it's do, see this is the step updating existing db2 instances this is it's going to update the existing instances so that's what it is doing okay so we don't have to do db2 iupdt when we ran this install fix pack command we don't have to do this db2 iupdt and i'm going to show it to you so okay so updating existing instances let it update both the instances there are two instances dbs and dbp is updating right now so let it update okay execution completed successfully that that's a good news so let's now run the same command over here and you can see I don't have 11.1 .1 fix pack 2. I don't have that over here. And my home 11.1.2 got converted into 11.4.4. So now this one, because I applied the, the fix pack on this, which means both of these instances which were running under this should have got upgraded to this. So let's find out. So let's go to db2 p dbp and then do db2 i list and you can see that I still have two instances and if I do db2 level then the db2 level now shows for this dbp and I can show it to you db2 get instance okay and you can see that I am under instance dbp and now it is showing 11.1 .1 fix pack 4 while here it was showing 11.1 .1 fix pack 2. So we have done fix pack installation. We have done the fix pack installation and all of the inst instances which were there under that particular instance got upgraded. I can show it to you the other instance which was dbs. So let me go here and do db2 level and you can see even db2 s is also upgraded and if i show you that this is db2 uh, dbs you can see that this is dbs so that's done okay now the point is yes we have upgraded the instance what about our databases you don't have to do anything at the database level you just activate your database and the db2 will take care of for you so again my same script i'm going to do uh, get instance activate db connect to db and check the service level and fix back num from this particular thing so i'm going to do that Okay, and if it works, if this particular script works, then probably if the database gets activated, then you, we will be able to see that we are at a newer version. Okay, so it's let's see whether it is activated the database. Right now it is activating. Activate got successful, connection successful, and you can see my database also got success, uh, activated. So you can see my database is activated. So 
and I can show it to you for the other instance as well run the same step okay run the same step and you should be able to see that I have even this particular so let me start this instance DB I previously I checked the DB yes instance uh, where was it yeah here and now I'm checking the DBP instance and you see that everything in DBP also shows 11.4 so this was the step second step so now what I have done okay so let me put a note of here so dbt okay that was updated using db2 rupdt dbs and dbp this were updated using install fix pack this is under the different binary this is under the different binary and let me keep a note of these binaries okay so which is the binary for this is this this is the binary for your dbt so this is the i'll keep a note here and i'll color code this maybe red is right yeah and this one is under this directory okay so we have done two things now guys we have one we have upgraded this instance out of this from here we upgraded this using db2 iupdt and then rest two instances we upgraded using install fix pack okay so and they are under this okay so we did that and you can see very well if, if i take this output you can see very well okay that you know what i'm talking so db2 okay so this is this was old where is the new one uh where is the new one yeah that's the new one okay so if i take this you can see okay so this is shows okay 11 the the old binaries but now pointing to 11.1 fix pack 4 and previously it was pointing to here okay so that's done so what is our next step so now what i'm going to do is this instance okay take this instance again color code it to some other color maybe blue so what i'm going to do this instance i am actually going to uh, okay i'm going to update this instance the version upgrade okay i'm going to upgrade this instance to 11.5.4 okay so that's what i'm going to do so what commands did we use we use db2 iupdt and okay and we went to the newer binaries so let me try to do the same thing so before doing that let me go as that instance so exit okay clear exit okay Jobs. That's it. Okay. Kill percent one. Okay. Kill. Okay. So okay. <sighs> okay. Exit. Exit. Okay. Clear. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do? I am going to log in as T. Show you to you the DB2 level. So I'm at 11.1. Fix pack four. And even my database, obviously, if my instance is at 11.4, and I will also upgrade the database, so I'm not going to waste your time to show it to you. Even my database, why not? I'll show it to you actually. So let me run this check version, and you, you will be able to see. So I'm starting the instance, the level. My database is at 11.1, fix pack 4. So that's done. I will stop my instance because I am going to do. So what I'm going to do? This DB2 DBT, which is at 11.1, fix pack 4. I'm going to make it 11.5. So this time, this is the version upgrade. This is not a fixed pack upgrade. This is the version upgrade. So that's what I'm going to do. So let me exit and again as a root and instance is stopped. So we are good. My instance is stopped. Grab db2cc. Okay. I don't have any running instance, which is good. So let me now go to the newer binaries. Okay. So let me take the same command. Okay. And this time around, I am going to say 11.554 okay so that's what i'm going to say and it's running the db2 iupdt command okay because i've said db2 iupdt and i told which instance and you see it failed to update the instance to run on a different copy you need to you can't so this one doesn't work okay db2 iupdt doesn't work okay so don't try so db2 iupdt is only for the fix pack when you are on the same level same db2 level you can do that but if you are on a different code level then you need to use here i mentioned this see this one doesn't work that's why i mentioned it's in red so what you need to do is exactly the same command 
but this time around you will be using db2 i upgrade so let me take exactly the same command take that command take this copy this okay clear my screen and up arrow so this is the command let me delete this and put around db2 i upgrade so when you are doing version upgrade you need to use the db2 i upgrade command so let's do that okay so let's do that and now i am actually upgrading where is my dbt so let me go quickly before it does that so dbt db2 level so quickly do that yeah i'm on 11.1 fix pack 4 right now db2 get instance quickly okay i'm doing that because it started upgrading so 11.1 fix pack 4 i am at 11. fix pack 4 and i told i went into 11.5.4 and i said db2 i upgrade dbt so when this is done then my dbt instance my dbt instance which is here will be upgraded to here at 11.54 and the command that i use to do that is db2 i upgrade command and now i will be using the same script the check version so i'll try to activate my database once this is done okay once this is done i'll try to activate my database and see whether my database gets activated okay and you need to have patience because this is the version level upgrade okay you don't need to have that much patience because it completed so now here it says this is the where is that where is that where is that okay here you can see that su dbt db2 get instance is dbt which is at 11.4 one fix pack 4 so take this clear my screen take this go here and then do db2 level and you can see i am at 11.5 so this is a version upgrade so now the next thing is db2 start let's see whether our instance is start getting started if it gets started okay one job done now what we will do is we will try to activate the database so let me try to activate the database activate db db t so this is my database name i'm trying to activate this database and let's see the connection failed because the product has been updated and database needs to be upgraded so the when i did the install fix pack or when i did the db2 i updt i did not have i only thing that i did was activate db database because that's what i was trying to do using here see activate i did not I, I did not have to do anything but remember when you do when you do the the version upgrade you just can't activate the database so what you need to do is you need to upgrade your database so this one won't work okay uh, this one won't work so let me put a red mark to this this one won't work so what you need to do is you see it failed actually here the activate so i'm going to run uh, upgrade db dbt okay so i'm going to run the upgrade db dbt and then what i'm going to do is once this is done i'm going to take db to activate db dbt so i'm going to do that and right now it is getting upgraded so give it a minute from 11.1 .1, it is getting upgraded to 11.4 sorry 11.5 so from 11.1 .1 to 11.5 is getting upgraded that's why it is taking little bit of time have a patience and if these steps completed then our database got upgraded successfully then we need to activate the database to make sure we are able to activate and then we will be connecting to the database so give it a minute and let's see what exactly happens should not take so much time but i think my system is not so powerful that's why it is taking some time and i'm not going to pause the video as i said i want you guys to see this in live and if you if you guys think that it is not getting updated let's actually do one thing clear go to instance again and try to follow let's see okay let's try to follow db2 diag minus f so let's follow the diag okay so it's it's trying to archive some of the log files so that's what okay and my upgrade completed successfully so now i'm going to do the activate db database so that got completed and now the time to check our version so i'm going to run the same script so that's okay and you can see that my database dbt is at 11.5.4 so this instance okay in this particular tutorial 
this what I did with dbt okay I played around with dbt so this dbt was it was at 11.1 fixed pack 2 then I applied I using db2 IUPDT I went to 11.1 fixed pack 4 using db2 IUPDT and then using db2 I upgrade I went so dbt moved from here to here and then it moved to here the other two instances okay so they dbs and dbp they moved from here to here okay so they just moved to 11.1 because that is a different uh, those are two instances so now what i'm going to do is i am going to roll back downgrade fix pack on this so right now this dbs and dbp is at 11.1 fix pack 4 i want to take them back to 11.1 fix pack 2 so that is my final step and this all version upgrade everything completed so now final thing okay so let me go back clear my screen go as instance dbp show you the db2 level okay so that is at 11.1 so let me keep a note of that here because now i'm doing the downgrade so the command is pretty simple the downgrade you have to use minus f level command force level so install fix pack okay so now what i'm i'll keep a note of here so db2 db2p is at 11.1 4.4 then the i have one more instance let me check that as well su minus dbs okay and then db2 level and you can see that is also here so let me take a dbs and keep a note of that as well so both of them if you see are at 11 and i will also give you the output of db2 ls and you can see that my this one is here so let me keep a note of this so this all i'm going to keep and i'm going to color code it so that we can refer ah that's not good color so i'm going to color code it maybe this so i'm going to keep a note of this so the okay and both of these instances and i am going to now downgrade this particular home or this particular version back to 11.1.2 and then how i am going to the old install fix pack old binaries i'm going to that location i am giving which base directory i'm going to downgrade and i'm saying minus f level so let me do that okay and make sure your instances are all stopped so let me ps minus ef grab db2 cc you db2 t can be up okay so this can be up i don't sorry uh db2 start this i don't have a problem because this is at the different level we are not touching this uh, db2 start ps minus ef okay db2 cc so i don't have problem with dbt okay so these two the dbs and dbp so let's do that so let me go as root again clear my this one and run this particular command and before doing that let me just show you db2 ls okay and then db2 yes which is at 11.1 fix pack 4 11.1 fix pack 4 both the instances at old level gen and db2 ls the binary 11.12 shows 11.14 so i'm going to take this command okay and see carefully what i'm doing i'm going to the old install media using the install fix pack command i'm giving the base which uh, home base directory i want to downgrade and i'm saying minus f level if i try to do this if i try to do this see what happened okay so base it says base okay so here okay so and then you see updating an instance that is lower it is not supported which means I need to use minus F level if I try to do that it doesn't work so now I'll take this and I'll say minus force level because I'm forcing it to be down okay so I'm forcing it to be down so it still asks me the path okay so I'm going to give the path and okay 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 My enable me to update the instance that is lower than the one being used by the instance currently okay DB to update an instance okay attempt has been made to update an instance code level that is long uh, 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 okay why what happened okay minus v okay 
okay so what exactly happened so i want to okay so this is correct so let me i am not able to understand why this is updating an instance to code level that is lower that's what am i i'm saying minus f level so for that reason only i'm saying minus f level so what exactly is wrong with this huh it is interesting that it should not ask me okay let me do one thing so maybe here this one okay yeah i think there is a problem here okay do you want to yeah there was a problem here there was a problem with this test okay anyway say no okay so i'm saying no and then once this is done keep an eye on this okay keep an eye on this the version this particular ho this one shows that it is at 11.14 so it's now going to downgrade my fix pack and that is our final tutorial and while this is, it is getting doing this okay i want to cover some of the other things that i wanted to cover so uh we have finished with the tutorial this one will work definitely this one will work okay and while it is doing this uh, i want to talk about things that we need to okay actually wait let's give it a minute let it finish doing this let's and then only i will cover the rest of the topic if you want to sign off or you want to stop the video go ahead but i just want to cover some more points as what you need to take care when you take the when you do the upgrade what are the things that you need to note note what are the steps that you need to be careful what are your prerequisites and what are your post requisites that's what we need to be worried about so i'm so okay so it's doing this all of this i know guys this video went on for a longer time but i just wanted to cover different different scenarios i hope you did not get confused this was confusing for me to come up with what what kind of scenarios i need to present to you so i need to i i had to set up the lab i need to think about different instances different installations and how one instance i upgrade is using db2 iupdt other two using install fix pack then i wanted to downgrade one of the instance so i had to think a lot it actually confused me also so i hope this tutorial did not confuse you as much as it did confuse me so this is the last step where i am downgrading these two instances these two instances which are at 11.1 fix pack 4 so i'm downgrading them back to 11.1 fix pack 2 so that's what i'm doing and i'm using this minus f level command and there was a problem with this that's why that command was failing but now that command we fix that command so this is the command it should not ask me any prompt okay it should not ask me this kind of prompt so it was asking because it was not recognizing this so i said no so here and this steps 31 takes a little bit of longer time just give it a minute and i hope you guys are enjoying the series of tutorial or the videos that i'm uploading if you have any comments or you want to you want me to update or present it in a different way do let me know via commands via your comments and i will surely take a note of it so right now it is updating the instances back to the lower version so that's what it is doing both of those instances it's downloading downgrading right now that's what it is doing i, I just don't want to pause the video i could pause the video but I'm, i just don't want to okay so that seems to have got completed successfully so now db2 ls and you can see that my 11.1 which was at fix pack 4 has gone back to older version 
and did I capture it here? Okay, it's not, okay, but I would have captured it here. So you can see my 11.12 was it at 11.1 fixed pack four has gone back to older version. So we have successfully, okay, I, yeah, we have it here. So you can see that this particular home was at 11.1 fixed pack four, see this particular install directory and see this particular install directory. So if I put it in a paper, if I put it on a notepad, take this, put it in a notepad. And if I take this and I put it in a notepad, then you can see that it this same directory has gone back and we have downgraded our fix pack. So that's what we have done. So now what we have to verify these two instances, these two instances, if you see, I captured here, these two instances, uh, I think I should have that. Okay, so you can see DBP was at 11.1 fixed pack four and DBS. So let me take this, let me take this, put it here so that you guys can see that both the instances was at this version. So now it's time to connect to those instances. So clear SU minus DBP, DB level. Okay, why am I doing that? DB2 level and you can see okay that it has it has gone back so let me put it here and you can see that dbp this instance which was at 11.1 fixed pack 4 is at back now so we have downgraded and same if i go to the other instance as well db yes then you can see that it has been also downgraded okay and my dbt that is not downgraded because that was not part of this 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 one so dbt the other instance will be at that instance would be at 11.5 okay so that this one dbt will be at 11.5 so that is good so now what we need to do is our final check that we have downgraded the instance but did we check our databases no so let's do that so let me connect as dbp and run my script check version which is nothing but db to start activate db connect to db and select a fix pack so that's doing it and you can see right on the screen that it has gone back to older version and i can do that same with dbs uh, it will be a waste of time but let me anyway do it just to prove that both of my instances have gone back okay so i'm doing that it's going to start my instance then it's going to show you db2 level then connecting the database and then it shows that what is the fix pack number so Yes, we have downgraded this fix pack. This was the step. Only one command, guys, minus F level. So that's what you need to do. So we, we are finished with our tutorial, but I just wanted to cover what things that you need to take care before upgrade and what things that you need to take care post upgrade. So make a note of all of this because you might need this information. So what is your DB2 version? So DB2 level command. Take a note of your instance configuration using db2 get dbm config. Take a note of each and every database uh, config using db2 get db config. Take a note of your registry variable using db2 set minus all. Take a note of your license using db2 licm minus l. Take a note of your node directory. Take a note note of your database directory. Take a note of your client configuration. If you can run DB2 support, which will capture all of this above information plus more, but you it, it, and then that would be a web page where you can you know look at that information. So try to run DB2 support. If you can, then preferably offline. Take a backup, full backup of your database, and preferably you can try to take an offline backup. If you can't take an offline backup, at least take an online backup and use compression to save your space. Once you take the backup, make sure your backup image is valid using DB2 CKBKP. So you make sure that you have a proper rollback plan and you can use DB2 prerequisite check to check the prerequisites if there are any. So these are the things that we need to do before upgrade. And what are the things that we need to do post upgrade is we need to rebound, rebind all the packages using DB2 rbind. We need to migrate explain tables using DB2 exmig. Preferably try, try to take one more time backup after you upgraded. So you you anything happens you have the backup again Then you check your backup is valid check there are no invalid packages using syscat packages and valid is equal to no and Make sure that in db2 diag dot a log file You don't have any severe errors that you should be worried about. I Hope this tutorial was useful. 
I hope you can you can comfortably upgrade your DB2 version using this particular steps. I hope I have covered how to upgrade fix back, how to do version upgrade and how to downgrade your fix back. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in next tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and please pass in any comments that you feel like so that I can improve my channel. Thank you and see you in next tutorial. Bye bye.